Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? So I'm now in uh, Washington State. It's good to be back in the uh, good old U.S. of A. I just uh, drove north of Carson up into the mountains to about 3,400 feet. The tracks keep going, but this is as far as I'm comfortable driving, so I'll just set out on foot from here for uh, Red Mountain, and uh, I gotta move quick because uh, there's only about five hours before the sun sets. It's nice to be somewhere new. I've basically explored next to nothing in uh, Washington, so this is all open territory, but as you can see, I'm a little late to the party. I really wanted to do Mount Adams. I tried to drive up there, but I could only get so far, and it was looking like uh, it'd be a kamikaze mission, so I'll save that one for when the conditions are more better, and uh, hopefully there's some other volcanoes further south that I can still reach this time of year. So it's kind of a scouting mission. I'm curious to see this uh, Red Mountain fire lookout. Whether or not it's got a wood stove. The search for uh, cozy backcountry wood stoves continues here in the new country. I gotta come around this side so I can talk outside of the wind. It turns out the door is all locked up. I think this lookout might still be in use occasionally. It's not just a place the public can come and spend a night. But look at that, Mount Adams. I wish I was going up that today. From what I understand, it's an easy one. It's just a walk up. But yeah, I need to be spending more time in Washington. It's, uh, it's incredible here. It's Mount Rainier. And then Mount St. Helens. And around uh, this way, looking towards Oregon, it's Mount Hood and Mount Jefferson in the distance. <laughs> We've just been sitting here for uh, 10 minutes just soaking it all in. It's nice and warm in the sun and protected from the wind. Imagine you were up here when Mount St. Helens erupted. That would be the view of a lifetime. I got some tasty plans for dinner so it's time to uh, start boogieing on back down to the van. That was a really good little hike here, not too demanding, but uh, just such a good uh, panorama of all the volcanoes in the area. I'm gonna get out the air fryer once again tonight, whip up a little something. I got some cubed potatoes. First, I'm gonna put these in the pot and toss them with some olive oil.
and salt. So now I'll transfer them into the air fryer basket. I had it sitting too close to the fire, it's starting to get kind of hot. I don't have a nuclear meltdown in here, so we'll do 390 uh, for 18 minutes. So while that's working, it's magic. I'll prepare the rest of the ingredients. I got green onion, green pepper, tomatoes, and some mushrooms. I'll load all this into the pot. It's garlic powder, chili powder, pepper, and salt, queso, shredded cheese. Now this goes right into the air fryer. And we'll do another three minutes. Some cilantro, crushed red pepper. Lime. And just like that, a delicious meal is ready to eat. I don't even need to taste it to know that it's going to be really good. Magnificent. I'm upset that I got rejected on that wood stove today, but the good old Cubic Mini always saves the day. Last night the temperature dropped below freezing and whenever that happens I get frost that forms on the inside of the metal ceiling above the headliner and then when the temperature warms up it thaws out and starts dripping down. Uh, last year I filled the headliner full of the Havelock wool insulation to see if that would make a difference but I think that was actually a really bad idea because all it does is trap in the moisture. It just uh, it can't breathe and it never dries out and I'm really worried that uh, it's going to mold up in there and if that happens I'm in big trouble because it'd be next to impossible to remove the headliner and clean it all out. I'd have to practically dismantle my entire build to make that happen. I think this has got to be a problem for everyone who lives in a van like this through uh, freezing temperatures. It's just like impossible to build a perfect vapor barrier from front to back and have it perfectly sealed. Um, unless you got like a cube van where you're dealing with straight lines and you, maybe you can make it happen. Um, some people recommend like those uh, little desiccant containers or a dehumidifier but I, I just don't think it's enough to keep up. I mean it's just like everything you do creates moisture, breathing, a little bit of cooking and it just adds up so fast. I've tried to sleep with my head on this end of the bed with the roof vent running um, but that means that you're just freezing your butt off all night long and just throwing all your heat outside and uh, I don't think it really made a difference to be honest but I think the plan is to go further south and just let the van bake in the sun for a couple days make sure it's completely dried out and also the further south that I go uh, the more back roads that'll be accessible it'll just be easier to uh, go out and explore. The plan this morning is to head down to Hood River, Oregon, do a resupply, get cleaned up, then decide where to go from there. I think I'd like to stick to the interior, just check out all the volcanoes along the way, see which ones are still accessible this time of year.
Washboard Echo Laundry in Hood River, Oregon. Five out of five. It's really clean. All the machines look new. That's the first time I've seen a card reader right on one, and uh, it was pretty slick. The amount of times that I walk into a laundromat and half the machines are out of order and there's nowhere to get change, it's nice when they're uh, actually set up to take your money and you can get on with things. But about a week ago, I quit drinking coffee just as an experiment to see if uh, I'd feel any better. And overall, I think I do. My energy levels are just uh, more smoothed out, less peaks and valleys. I think uh, when you're waking up, your brain is just going through some uh, delicate natural processes. And I'm not sure if it's good to be pouring a bunch of caffeine into it during that time. Uh, I never considered myself to be a coffee addict. I normally just have one cup in the morning, but for like the past 15 years. So I think I should give it a month or two and just see, just see what happens, uh, see how my body adjusts without it. But yeah, I feel like this is uh, just a simple video this week. Uh, it's been too long since I've got out and uh, done a really big mountain. I'm overdue and I can't wait to uh, stand on top of one again. So hopefully uh, we'll get there in the next episode. So thanks for watching and thank you to Patreon supporters. And uh, we will see you soon.